Hi everyone, it's Robin. I have two cards that I just made last night and then uh, today, and I wanted to go ahead and share them with you. This first one, um, they're both five and a half by five and a half inches, uh, but this first one I've used the um, large bird bath stamp from I Break for Stamps. I'll see if I can get in here close without a shadow, and I've just colored that in using my pro markers, and then this paper collection is Webster's Pages. I've um, added some Making Memories ribbon, uh, rosette, little rose, or daisies rather, uh, trim some 5mm self-adhesive pearls from Wild Worker Crafts, and then this one I just had in my stash. It was one that I picked up really inexpensively uh, a while back when scrapbook.com had them for like 60 cents. This is only half of it, but boy, they're a little stinker to put on. They want to break apart and stick together. So this was the first time that I had used that anyway. So uh, that is the outside of the card. Happy birthday is a rub on. And then the inside, this is a um, girls papery stamp that I just cut out and just popped up on dimensionals, added some divine twine from Wild Record Crafts. And then this stamp here, uh, I've stamped with a spice tin, Jenny Bolin ink. And this is from my absolute the uh, most favorite stamp sheet ever from I Break for Stamps and it's inspirational phrases. Let's see if I can grab that really quick. Here it is. Okay, so this is what the sheet looks like and you guys have seen me use this a ton. It's absolutely so versatile. Uh, this one has fantastic phrases for insides of cards specifically. Could be outside of card as well, but there's 28 phrases on here for every different occasion that I could possibly think that I would need. And then this is my other favorite. Just I'll show you that again just because it's right behind it. But this is the everyday phrases. And this is a fabulous one for outsides of cards. So I use this one all the time as well. So um, I'll have the link to these in the info bar down below because I realize your screen might be too small for you to read them if you wanted to. So um, just to make it easier for you, I will put these in the info bar down below. And then, uh, so that's my first card. And the second card was inspired by Bev Rochester. And uh, I just decided to make an easel card, and it measures, like I said, five and a half inches by five and a half inches. And this is what it looks like set up. And then um, the stamp in the middle here is We Susie, and that is uh, available through the I Break for Stamps website as well. I use my pro markers to color her in. I think she is so cute. I love her little face. I've used a jelly roll pen in the Stardust clear to accent the little flowers in the flower pot and as well as in her hair and then also her uh, ribbon belt and the trim on her dress so I doubt it's picking it up in the camera but it's it's there nonetheless so uh, that's the outside the flowers that I've used I'll just go over those really quick um, the big one here I've accented with Bravo Burgundy ink from Stampin' Up! and then I just spritzed it down to let the color run but I wanted a little darker tone but that's actually one of these flowers here and that's from this pack from Wild Orchid Crafts and then these two uh, flowers here are trellis roses and they are 35 millimeter they came in a mixed red tone pack here's the information for that and I just peeled off the back layer uh, just because I wanted it a little bit smaller these two flowers here let me zoom in a little bit since it's down. Uh, these two flowers here came from this pack and um, it was this white one, or off-white ivory colored ones that I've used. And then uh, in here are some of the, I think they're called hip rosebuds, but they are available in uh, these good size bunches. And these little pink ones tucked in here throughout are hip uh, are, uh, gypsophilia and I don't have the packaging for that but this is what those look like so that's the outside of the card and I've also added some tiny little rose leaves in here and I've tucked in uh, this little cameo I've had in my stash for oh probably two years and so I added one of these in there and then this is some Bordeaux wine seam binding that's available on the uh, Wild Worker Crafts website the paper collection that I've used is uh, Webster's Pages and I just used some acrylic paint and vintage white around the edges just kind of brushed it on there again I don't think it's picking it up in the camera and then this is just rose red Stampin' Up! cardstock 
So I think I told you, I think you guys probably figured that um, this, this was colored in with uh, Letra Set Pro Markers because that's really all I use. So, and then the inside is right here. Um, and the inside paper, actually, no, this paper came from this Lost and Found set um, that I got from Hobby Lobby, and it's the Madison Avenue. Sorry about that. I was using Webster's Pages, and I thought about it using it for this one. But So this is the inside of the card. This is a 15-millimeter uh, open rose and two of the 10-millimeter two-tone pink open roses. So And then it just sits up like this and like this. Five and a half inches square, so it'll fit in uh, one of the uh, clear envelopes that I have. So this is the first and second cards that I made yesterday and today. I plan on doing a little bit more crafting. So I'm working on a mini album, but it's one of those that I put down and pick up. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these cards. I will have the links to the stamps as well as the uh, flowers in the info bar down below. If you have any questions, um, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye.